Today we are building a go-kart. So recently I just got this old Yerf Dog go-kart, a uh, two-seater, and it has no engine and no seat. And it needs a good paint job. So I shall clean it up, paint it, and put the engine and seat on for you guys. Thanks for watching. Now we gotta wait for it to dry, and then I'll pull out my black spray paint and finish off. Now that I got the surface prepped, we can pull out the spray paint and start painting. So. I'll get right back at you when we're done. While the go-kart was drying, I built a seat out of some pleather and an old snowmobile seat foam. And I went and picked up my Predator 212C motor. So, now let's put it on the go-kart after we paint it. It's the next day, paint's all dried up, so it's time to put the engine in. As you can see here, the chain is about almost two lengths too short, and since I don't have a half link, I have to raise the engine up, and to raise the engine up, I sh will be using these washers here. I'm going to put two under each peg, and that'll put her up just about enough to get the engine tight enough so the chain doesn't pop off, but not too tight that it's really difficult for the engine to move it. So, let's do that now.
now for the bolts. rest of the two on and then I'll bring you back. Alrighty, now that we got the engine all bolted down and it raised to a good height, it's time to put the chain on. The easiest way I've found to do this is to wrap it all the way around and then put the master link on uh, while the chain is on the sprocket. So they're going to meet on the sprocket, and that just makes it a lot easier. Then you get your master link. Put that on. Hey, pups. And then, so the master link doesn't pop off. I usually have this piece facing, so I put it on towards where it's going to spin. So the open part that it goes into is away from the direction it spins on. And that way if it hits anything while it's spinning, it, it'll either just make it tighter or it just won't do anything to it. And that just makes it a lot sturdy. And now you see that I raised it. The chain is pretty good tightness and it won't pop off very easily at all. So, now what's next is we have to do the electrical. So I got a couple butt connectors, male and female, and the easiest thing is just to, all you got to do is slip it in, and before I do that, I'm going to put a little heat shrinking wrap around it just to keep her, um, tight so it doesn't pop out on me while I'm riding it. A little blue heat shrink. first. Okay, then you put the blue heat shrink around it. Put that in. And it just slips on in. Then you take your heat shrink. Grab your heat of choice. I'm using a little lighter. And then just heat shrink it. Or heat it up and this will form to it. And create a tight seal. And this will help prevent it from popping out ever. Okay, now for the seat. And the seat I'm using is the one I made. Right there. So we'll put this on right now. Alrighty. Align the bolts to the bolt holes. Simple as that. Then we get your nuts and you bolt it down. 
that's I'll get that all tightened up for you and I'll be right back. Now the last part to get this baby running is to attach the throttle to the foot peg up there and I am going to use a 71 inch throttle cable so and how to do it is you see that little bolt there you hold on to the bolt and unscrew it and that opens up a hole as you can probably see and then you just feed the throttle cable through there get it tight to your liking and then she's done so let me get that and then we'll ride it